We're glad to be with you tonight. I'm Jabari Pruitt. We're less than a week away from Alabama season opener, and one of the football players has been shot. In tonight's top story, WVUA 23's Deidre Hall joins us live with more on this investigation. Deidre. Jabari, early this morning, several Facebook Live videos were put up of police cars outside of Bar 17, where we would later find out Raekwon Davis was shot. Early Sunday morning, Alabama defensive lineman Raekwon Davis was shot outside of Bar 17 in Tuscaloosa. Investigators say Davis told them he was standing outside of Bar 17 when he heard several gunshots and realized he had been shot in the right leg. He was taken to the DCH hospital where he was questioned by investigators. His injury is considered minor. The shooting is not the first one to happen at this location, which has city officials concerned. You know, I'm saddened that, you know, this, um, this type of situation has happened again in my community, um, especially at this particular location, which is known to have this activity in the past. And um, just overall, there seems to have been a lot of shootings in the past few weeks. Bar 17, formerly known as the Playhouse, is located on the west end of Tuscaloosa near Stillman College. District 2 Tuscaloosa City Councilwoman Raven Howard and Tuscaloosa Police Chief Steve Anderson have been looking into ways to keep that area safe. But closing down the bar is not one just yet. Would we be closing it down soon or even considering that? I can't say, but we are definitely looking into the matter when it comes to any establishment where there has been um, a continuous criminal activity going on, especially illegal gun, gun use. Investigators recovered several shell casings from the parking lot, but there have been no arrests. Live in the studio, Deidre Hall, WVUA 23 News.